hello everyone welcome back to my channel hope you are all doing well so as you know already i am making a uh, passing package videos for vtu students so today i am with another subject that is metal casting forming and joining processes so let me discuss the passing package for the subject is subject code is 21 me 32 so there are three passing modules by which you can easily pass this subject you can easily concur this subject let me discuss those uh, passing three modules and rest of the two modules i will also discuss just because you have to uh, attend to uh, two or three questions from rest of the two two modules rest of the two modules over there right so let me discuss first the passing module which is the module second over there in which you have to only cover five questions so that you will get 20 marks with ease over there first one is with the neat diagram with the neat sketch explain the resistance furnace over there next one is coreless induction furnace which is the most important one again and third important one which is which i call the super important question over here that is cupola furnace and next one is electric arc furnace and gas fired pit furnace and you have to write down its uh, applications advantage and disadvantages also right so you should remember that also applications application part so you have to uh, also remember this application advantage and disadvantages uh, they may ask in the examination over there so these are the five questions which you have to cover in the module second as you already know my dear friends there are two two or three chapters in each module sometimes even four chapters are there in the module so i have taken uh, here the important questions of the a particular module over here and the particular chapter you can say that over here no need to uh, read all the chapters as it is uh, impossible for all the students to cover these backlog subjects as there is no gap it is uh, providing no gap uh, for the backlog subjects over there as regular uh, regular examinations are going on so it becomes very really tough for the students to cover the backlog subjects over there so just cover these five questions in the module second it is enough to concur 20 marks in this particular module over here next passing module i will discuss that is module fourth over here so fourth module is also a passing module in which you have to cover with a neat sketch explain the types of flames that can be obtained during oxyacetylene welding process over there most important question it is next important question is sketch and explain the principle of gas welding next one is uh, with a neat sketch briefly explain submerged arc welding over there next you have to with neat diagram you have to explain these uh, oxyacetylene gas welding process manual metal arc welding metal inert gas welding that is mig it is also called as mig mig welding and tig welding that is tungsten inert gas tungsten inert gas welding over there and electron beam welding also you should remember that they may ask uh, with the advantages disadvantages and applications a very simple part theoretical part and also you have to focus on diagrams just draw the neat sketch in the examination rest of the theory they didn't uh, consider very well over there so a first paragraph should be neat and clean uh, whatever you write in the next paragraph so that much is of le least importance over there so try to understand these concepts animation videos are also available for these uh, welding process you can uh, see the two minute video on the youtube over there so that you will get clarity about the working principle of these welding processes over there right so this much content is enough for the module 4 to cover this particular uh, module over here uh, 20 marks at least you will get if not 20 then at least 15 marks you can easily get in this particular module over here next passing module which is the module fifth over here in which you have to cover soldering brazing and adhesive boarding most important one and with a neat sketch uh, explain the resistance welding process spot welding process again an important one next one is with a neat sketch explain any five welding defects right next is uh, they may ask sometimes distortion shrinkage and residual stress in welding welded structures sometimes uh, it may be explain the distortion of the welded structure sometimes both will be given like uh, explain shrinkage and residual stresses in welded process welded structure so you have to memorize these you have to remember these three processes that is distortion shrinkage and residual stresses in welded structures or sometimes they may ask this question like explain thermal effects in welding so don't be confused it is the same question so explain thermal effects in welding uh, welding over there right so this is enough for the module fifth now let me discuss uh, module first over here which is not the passing module but you have to cover two to three questions from uh, 
that module particular that is first module so define manufacturing process with a suitable sketch explain the classification of manufacturing process right next one is what is pattern which is the super important question in this particular module super important one that is what is pattern briefly explain pattern allowances with neat sketches next one is molding machines you have to focus on in which you have to cover three types that is jolt type skews type and sand slinger in which also they will ask the preparation of sand molds by using of these uh, molding machines over there next one is factors that determine the selection of casting alloy right next one is important molding process which is the which is also a super important i can see simp uh, which is a super important question in this particular model that is uh, green sand molding process coarse sand, dry sand molding process and shell molding process so try to cover these four processes at least from this molding processes over here next one is what is coring and gating list types of cores and gates used in the casting so this is enough for the module uh, first these are the six questions if you have potentiality to cover these topics within one engineering night as tomorrow is the examination for this subject so cover these all topics so that you will pass this subject with ease over there next is the module third in which you have to cover it is your uh, according to your own convenience if you are willing to cover the module third also if you cover those four modules so you will easily pass but if you want to cover module three also so just go through a uh, syllabus copy and there are three chapters like introduction to metal forming process metal working process and other sheet metal process so leave this particular first part which is the tougher one next one is the met metal working process and other sheet metal pro you go through these in which uh, the most important topics you should cover were there one to two uh, two or two questions you should take at least from this model third so that you will cover this subject without any fear without any hesitation were there so i hope uh, this much content will definitely help you in the examination so comment down after the examination completion of examination how was your this uh, particular metal casting forming and joining process paper were there so thanks for watching my video